exclusive. Problems tonight for MassDOT. The I-Team has learned that the Inspector General is raising serious questions about how the agency in charge of transportation oversees its own vehicles. Our chief correspondent Joe Shortsleeve says that the IG found, among other things, state employees making bogus license plates. At this building on Mystic Avenue in Medford, state employees make about 15,000 road signs each year. Turns out they were also making something else, license plates for state vehicles, which look like this. When a plate would go missing, the sign shop simply made a new identical one without ever involving the registry of motor vehicles. It defies a little bit of logic. I mean, don't you think employees would know it's illegal to manufacture license plates? It was a common practice that they said they've been doing for close to 20 years. The state says the sign shop employees will not be disciplined. MassDOT, which just raised fees at the Registry of Motor Vehicles, confirms at least 52 state vehicles had the bogus plates, including four state police cruisers patrolling the pike. The capability of making license plates uh, had us concerned that there was a temptation for someone to manufacture a plate for other purposes, and we wanted to remove that capability completely. And if that were happening, that would be criminal? That would be, yes. So far, that is not the case. The bogus license plates were found by the state's inspector general who has been auditing MassDOT's 1,500 vehicle fleet for the past four months. The I-team has learned the inspector general found other widespread problems with MassDOT's record keeping, from missing logs and mileage reports, outdated inspection stickers, and at least 25 employees assigned take-home vehicles who shouldn't have them. MassDOT says it's hired six people to fix the problem. We're implementing a better vehicle control system so that we have a better database on where our vehicles are signed, who has them, and what they're being used for. Now, if you had one of those missing state plates on your car, you would not be subject to tolls or registration fees, and your chances of being pulled over or even issued a parking ticket would be remote. However, MassDOT executives say they do not believe this is a criminal matter, and they say the Inspector General agrees. Lisa? Interesting story, Joe. Thank you. Now it's six o'clock.